This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. The Associated Press reports from the Texas Capitol. Governor Rick Perry is praising a federal appeals court decision allowing Texas to enforce a new abortion law. The law requires doctors to complete a sonogram before performing an abortion and forces doctors to show the sonogram image to the woman, make audible the fetal heartbeat, and to explain the presence of any organs or limbs. Supporters say the law is necessary to help a woman understand what an abortion entails. A group of doctors brought suit to block the law, saying it violated their rights to free speech. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals said Tuesday the law can be enforced for now. Perry, who supports a ban on all abortions, says the law will help prevent them. KHOU.com reports Dallas police and Dallas fire rescue teams have called off their search for a burglary suspect who jumped into the cold Trinity River Monday afternoon. Police said it all started around 2.40 p.m. when officers responded to a vehicle burglary call in the 1000 block of East Colorado Boulevard. The suspect, driving a gray pickup truck, fled at a high rate of speed along the Corinth Street Viaduct. According to investigators, the officers did not pursue the suspect but followed along the viaduct until they located his abandoned truck. When the man saw the officers, he jumped into the water and refused assistance. He was observed going under the water and was not seen coming back up. A fire department rescue boat searched for the suspect for more than two hours before the effort was discontinued because the agency felt the suspect was no longer in the water. From the Associated Press in Houston, a school official says an 18-year-old brought a gun inside a Houston high school and shot another student in the leg, despite metal detectors on the campus. North Forest School District spokeswoman Sue Davis said the 16-year-old who was shot was taken to a hospital in stable condition. She said the shooter was detained by a government teacher who also happened to work as a deputy constable. Davis said the teacher wrapped up the 18-year-old senior without a struggle. The student was taken into police custody. Davis said the 16-year-old didn't appear to be the shooter's intended target. No one else was injured. The school's metal detectors are only turned on in the morning. The shooting happened around lunchtime. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.